Okay, let's construct a rectangle where the short legs will be this length of AB and the long legs will be this length of CD. The first thing I need to do, of course, is take my straight edge, give myself a nice long segment to work from, and let's go ahead and start with the CD. I like long rectangles rather than tall. That's just my preference. So first of all, there's C. I'm going to come up and measure with my compass the length of CD. There's my construction mark. I'm going to come down here to C, make that construction mark, and I now know that that is point D. Well, now what I need to do is draw the perpendiculars with my compass. So I need to start by giving myself points that are equidistant to C. Okay, so there's two points that are equidistant. I'm going to start on this side, open my compass up, and I'm going to start what I like to call the cat's eye. Come up, now I'm going to come over to that other point which was equidistant, finish off the cat's eye, and now I know if I use my pencil and my straight edge through these two points of intersection that I will create a perpendicular through that point C. Make it nice and long. Alright, I need to do the same thing over here. From those two points of intersection, I now need to create my cat's eye. So I open the compass up past the point D, and I get that nice smooth arc. Now I'm going to come over to my other point, equidistant, make that nice smooth arc. And again, using my pencil and my straight edge, I get a perpendicular through D. Now remember, make it nice and long. Okay, so now I have a right angle here and a right angle here. My rectangle is very close to being complete, but here's my long edge, CD. Now I need to create AB, so I need to bring my compass back up, and I'm going to measure with my compass, AB, show my construction mark. Now from C, I'm going to make that point, and I'm going to label it right there. This could be like AB, and keeping the same setting on my compass, I'm going to come over here to the D put the mark, and I know that right here this is also AB, and these two are now congruent to each other. And finally, I can take my straight edge, connect these points, and because these are right angles, these should be right angles, and because this is CD, this should also be CD, and I can always check that if I'm not sure by coming down and measuring my CD with my compass, and then coming up here from A to A. <laughs> Bad names, but you get the idea. And sure enough, it's the same length, so now these two are congruent to each other, and I've created a rectangle.